Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to go over some technical analysis on the S&P 500. It's been a little while since we've talked about the S&P 500, basically the overall state of the market. I want to go over some information about what it's done basically this past year and where I think it may be going forward. We'll take a look at the 180 day, four hour time frame, which is typically what we trade off of and also the longer term time frame from the past few years and just kind of go over some information uh, kind of supporting my thoughts on where we're going. So for one, now if you find value in this video, guys, if you appreciate our videos, make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, hit the notification bell, that way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. So the S&P 500 dating back to last year, 2023, around October 10th now, up a little over 30 percent okay let me put this into perspective for you why that's extremely massive is because the average rate of return on the s p is like a little over 10 percent per year so you basically made three years of gains in several months from october to may okay so let's see october november uh let's see. so it's uh, eight months okay if you count out eight months you made about 30% if you're in the S&P 500 back and just got in in sometime in October, you're up if you're following the S&P 500 about 30%. All right, so in my opinion, we're due for some type of cool off period and a pullback. And in my opinion, at least probably like a 10% correction. All right, and the reason I'm saying that is, I mean, nothing, you know, that nothing just goes straight up and Cool loss or pullbacks are actually pretty healthy because it kind of it flushes out you know, people and it allows more people to get in. So people who are watching, that's why the cycle just kind of continues because there's people that have been watching probably since October. They're like, eh, I don't know if I want to get in. I'm not sure if I can get in. I don't know if I'm nervous. I don't know what the market's going to do. And they see it moving and then they're like, well, it's too late now because it keeps going up. And then all of a sudden it falls and then they're like, okay, now I'm going to come in because the market just got beat up. I think now it's time to come in. And then the cycle just kind of continues and continues and continues. And so I think that's kind of where we're heading now. We, we did hit all-time highs yet again, 53.41.88. And as you see here, we kind of keep hitting our head up top here. And we have been in a bearish pattern, so I do feel like we could push a little higher before we pull down okay i think that we can maybe retest this 40 uh 53 41 level and either bust above it and hit all-time highs then fall or just bounce our head and then fall and for the reason of, of the fall i mean it's gonna have to have some type of reason right typically everything's an overreaction to the upside or the downside so i think some type of news maybe comes out from the fed or just really anything uh it, it can be anything that can kind of spook the markets to kind of get it to start correcting and pushing its way down so if you see a 10 percent correction from currently where we are now uh, it's actually a pretty sizable correction i mean i'm talking about coming all the way down here to the 4700 levels like breaking through a couple so i don't know if that'll happen but if it does I mean that's what you're looking at and it could be over time it could be like a flash crash it could be a horror i don't know but it's just my personal opinion that i think that we're going to correct and come and end up somewhere down here in this level and your first level of support which you need to look out for is uh, 5049 and then 4888 then you have 4722 i think we'd settle somewhere around here if we do break below there and what will happen you see this the, the one thing that kind of keeps me kind of guessing is we did the 50 crossed over to 100 on the on the golden cross breakout indicator and we're still above it so like that makes me think that maybe we could go higher before we have a big crash or maybe we bust through there get all-time highs and then some type of major catalyst comes in and just like boom flushes this out and goes from there because until this crosses back underneath then you know you still have the potential to stay up and either trade sideways or move higher so it's kind of hard to tell exactly what or when that's going to happen so i want to go ahead and take a look now at the the daily chart from 2020 
to uh, well, as of yesterday to the 28th of May 2024 okay so actually I had to redo the chart to 2021 because the time frame was so stretched out I couldn't actually get a, an accurate uh, reading on the fib level but it looks fairly uh, similar you know in a sense of and kind of that shows to the point that we could be cooling off and getting a pullback pretty soon so the low that you're looking at from January 1st, 2021 to May 28th, 2024, 34.91 is the like the bottom of the fib level here. And if you see, we had a nice, I mean, a really nice run, and we've been bouncing every time it looks like we're crossing over to go underneath to basically break the cycle. We bounce off, and now if we pull back again, that's the real question: Do we bounce off or do we break below? And if you look here, this is what's interesting to me is we are pretty oh, pretty close to overvalued and overbought. And the MACD indicator, as you see, is losing steam. As you see, these lines are getting closer together. So this cross is here. Very interesting to see exactly where we go. I think, again, we, we actually can, it looks like 4,900 would be the level that you'd want to keep an eye out for if we do get indeed some type of pullback so i'm going to keep an eye on this chart here over the next couple of weeks and kind of see what happens but i would keep an eye just on the market in general and just kind of like the, the major uh, the fed news world news things like that and if there's any type of negative catalyst and that can kick start some type of pullback into the next couple of months and again just keep in mind it's it's a healthy healthy thing in the markets for pullbacks to happen okay I'm just kind of keeping everyone updated and aware that that could be coming so if you're up on certain positions and you are thinking about maybe taking profits I think now might not be a terrible time to do so and you can always get back in at a later time either at the maybe the same price you bought in at or not further not too far from that or if you're a longer term investor it could be getting close to coming in and averaging averaging down on some plays or um, or some good times to buy and just in like a longer term portfolio and things like that so or we could just go straight up who knows <laughs> no just joking i don't think we're going to go straight up i think we're going to get some type of correction and anywhere from like five to ten percent in my opinion is what's going to take place over the next several months and then probably correct from there the election cycle this year I think I think it's setting up for actually if we do get a pretty sizable pullback depending on what the results are we could set up for a nice pullback good buy opportunity and then start shooting up after that point depending on the results of what happens uh, from there so it overall I mean the state of the you know the market the, the market historically it's if you've ever gone and you look at the longer term charts, it, it doesn't just go to zero, right? Back in 2020, when we thought the world was ending, we didn't go to zero. We just came back stronger because people who had been on the sidelines for so long decided to get into the markets. Again, it flushes, kind of flushes it out, restarts the cycle. So we just got to see when that is going to take place. I do think it is coming close to not necessarily a crash, but some type of correction in the market so anyway let me know your thoughts and comments below other than that we'll catch you in the next one